begin with brand new leads in the Detroit serial killer investigation. A Macomb County mother is sharing horrifying details of her daughter's attack, allegedly at the hands of the person who has been named a man of interest in the case. And topping our news at five right now, that woman simply says she's thankful her daughter survived the attack that happened back on May 7th. It happened in a home on Barlow Street, right in the area of Seven Mile and Shaner. That's where we found police serving a search warrant today, and only local four cameras were rolling. Sean Lay has been working his sources all day. Sean, um, there's a lot to get to here. Let's start with that mother in Macomb County. What she has to say would make any mom or dad absolutely shudder tonight. She says she begged and pleaded with her daughter not to come from Port Huron to Detroit's east side to seek drugs. Her daughter ended up in a house not far from where we're standing right now, and she was brutally attacked. Not long ago, Detroit police investigators went right back into that house looking for some key clues. This home at Barlow in Lappin on the city's east side is the home of the grandparents of suspected serial killer D'Angelo Martin. And our cameras are there as Detroit police homicide investigators serve a search warrant today. This is a big deal. Investigators are looking for items related to a brutal sexual assault of a 26-year-old woman here that happened on May 7th. Martin also came and went from the home and we're told it is possible that he brought back DNA with him of other serial killer victims, DNA on his body, clothing or shoes. The victim on May 7th, she's from Port Huron. I spoke with her mother today. She says Martin demanded sex from her daughter. She refused and then he allegedly flew into a rage. And she said no. Said, and she said he got a knife and he just started stabbing. You know, he stabbed her. She says her daughter was stabbed in her throat and can't speak as she recovers. Martin's grandmother called 911 as Martin ran off and got away, free to attack again. This family just now realizing that their daughter was attacked by a suspected serial killer and came close to being one of his victims. You know, she just really came uh, probably in, uh, in from death. I guess she would have been one. She would have been one, one of the suspected serial killer's victims. D'Angelo Martin is being held right now. He was charged on Monday with that very attack we talked about, the attack on the 26-year-old uh, Port Huron woman. Guys, coming up live at 6 o'clock, we know that D'Angelo uh, Martin was coming and going from his grandparents' home, but they are saying, look, he was homeless and out on the streets. There is an outreach person that helped him on the streets countless times. One thing really stood out about him. We'll have his story live at six o'clock. Back to you. Sean, you, you're also looking into D'Angelo Martin's criminal history. What have you found out? Yeah, have you noticed we haven't heard a lot about that? That's because there just isn't much driving uh, violations, and that is about it over the years. Not hardly anything that would be considered anything like what he's being accused of. Yeah, okay. Huge development today, and certainly more to come. Okay, Sean.